Hello there. How are you? Good. So you're here to get some face painting done? Perfect. And what do you have in mind? Okay, so something similar to what I have? Okay, sure. And of course, like, we can customize it um, according to what you like and what you dislike. Okay. Now, uh, this is called a Shiver Skull, and um, it's pretty popular during Halloween. I think it's a fairly uh, quick process, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have um, the basics uh, colors that we need, and then I also have some shades of eyeshadow that we're going to do, and that's going to just add some dimension uh, because we're going to use kind of like a gradient effect with the eyes. Okay, okay. So for things, first things first, we're gonna remove the makeup off of your skin already, or if you have any dirt on your skin, or just sweat in general. Yeah, well, being at a fair, you kind of do have, like, loud noises around, but we try to block as many of the loud noises out as possible, just so, you know, you can kind of have a more relaxing experience. Let's get your eyes, too. Okay, and then look up for me. use a primer on your face. This is just gonna ensure that we are getting the maximum effect of a color so that it lasts all day. And we want to start off around the eyes of course because that's her oiliest, oiliest area so we get lines and creases there. Okay. And then we also want to get some on the nose and then of course around the cheeks and the chin and the forehead just make sure that we get all of that part is we're actually going to do an outline around the eyes. I'm going to use this uh, just eye pencil, just in general, and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to do the outline. It's going to be very light, so just want to make a circle around the eyes, and the hardest part, of course, is making it symmetrical on both sides, so Gonna follow that eyebrow down and then go on the inner corner of the nose, following along that bone, your eye bone. Perfect. Let's make it right there. Okay. And we're gonna start off with some colors first. So I've got my eyeshadow palette right here, and I'm gonna start off. And would you like to go with the kind of like the fire look or would you like purples and pinks okay 
We can do the fire logo, perfect. Okay. Just gonna get some gold on first. I'm actually gonna be using this color right here. And this is actually a face paint, but it'll make for a nice base. So let's go ahead and get that. Sorry about that. We also want to get underneath the eye. And then the other one as well. And then now we're going to do like an orange. Make sure we get that color in there. Really get it into the brush. And then we want to do the middle part of the eye. And then we want to go on the bottom part, of course. blending afterwards. Now we're going to do this red and that's going to go on the outer corner. And then underneath as well. Okay, and now we want to take I'm just gonna get this right here. And I'm gonna get right in the okay. And get a little more pigment on there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it out. To apply that to this part of your eye and then we're gonna blend that in with the rest of the color so yep, just want to make sure going around the eye first with the black Taking this it looks really good. This fluffy brush. I'm gonna just blend that in. The black with the um, you know the um, the other colors. Perfect. And then we want to get that up there as well. Just like that. Perfect. Very good. And it sounds like somebody is just tip tapping around up on the top of the, the stairs. Just getting on the stairs. Okay, now that we have your eyes done, we don't have to worry about fallout or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the white base around your face. And actually first I'm gonna apply a concealer around the black just so um, we get that nice kind of rounded look without all the yep just like that so it's like kind of smooth just smoothing it out just like that make it clean okay 
And now we're gonna use this brush right here and we're gonna dip it into our white paint. And that's what we're gonna be applying to the face. Okay. Oh, kinda sounds like someone's dying. Going on, maybe it's Halloween, I don't know. Spooky. Making sure to get the nose. Perfect. Just really wanna get that base color all over the face. Uh, because that's what gives us the school look. Just like that. Making sure to be super gentle around the eyes. Very nice. Super. Okay, so to add a little bit of dimension around here, I'm just going to be using a bit of this purple right here. There we go. And I'm just going to be applying that to the cheeks. Wow, it's really getting loud now, huh? Sorry about that. Unfortunately, there is absolutely nothing that I can do about it because I've been waiting to get you in here so I could do this. And I'm going to apply right along those cheekbones. Perfect. Glaze. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. Okay. And I also want to get in here. Add a little bit of shading in there. I'm going to use a bit of the green. Very good. drawing this line along your face and we're going to be doing some fine work along your eyes so just go like this good and around the ear okay so i may have to get a little bit closer and just like that and making sure we go kind of close to the ear and there we go And now to do the heart on your chin. This one right here. And I'm going to go like shadow underneath it. And I'm going to use the purple on top of the line and then the green on the bottom of the line. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this sponge right here and then blend it out. So we're just going to go ahead and use that color.
and I'm just going to shadow underneath your lip now and add some stitches to the top. Good. So I've got all that. And did you want to do the spider's web? Just a small one. Just like not as quite as big. Okay. Do just one line. Two. Again, the black shadow and mix it with a little bit of brown and add some shading. To the forehead. Right up in there.
so much for coming in. I appreciate it, and I look forward to uh, seeing you next year and giving you a whole new look next year. I'll see you soon. Okay, happy Halloween.